Is Eric Jones, UCLA starting point guard, senior. Uh, came from Chicago, uh, Simeon High School. I uh, know my senior year, I had an okay year. Had to you know, play behind some guys, but I had an okay year. Had to go to junior college just to get some better schools, you know, get some better looks. And junior college just gave me the chance to uh, develop as a basketball player, develop as a, as a point guard. And uh, the two years there, you know, gave me uh, the right the right time I needed, you know, for my body to develop and for my game to develop, to get myself ready for uh, the next stage, which was uh, UCLA. I start off by just doing some uh, flat foot shooting, you know, just to get my form together, get my my arms loose. Uh, I go in like maybe five spots all the way out to maybe the NBA three-point line just to, you know, because I kind of try to get my wrists together and you know, get myself warmed up for the shooting that I'll be doing later on in the workout. Uh, and I just want to make at least three, you know, move, move back each spot. Uh, you know, half of the time I'm in there at night, you know, by myself or, you know, with a manager or another player. So it gives me time to actually, you know, concentrate on my shots and, uh, you know, Sometimes it gives me the time to think, you know, if I, I just have life things to think about. Um, just, you know, I want to make at least 10 in each spot. Uh, then I get to the wings. I uh, do five from the college three-point line, then I do five from the NBA three-point line. Just wanted to make them. It's more, you know, getting up a lot of shots, a lot of repetition. Uh, just to make sure, you know, I, when the games come, I, it's automatic, you know, you have to have the spots on the floor and I feel like if I work on every spot, you know, I could just make any, every shot that my team needs me to make. Between every drill, I try to make sure I make at least five shots, five free throws in a row. Uh, you know, just to make shots while I'm tired. You know, it's a game, game-like situation. Uh, you know, when you're tired, when you're in the game, you're tired, you're sweating. You know, you just got to step up there and you got to make the shots, um, no matter what the situation is. So, I know after every drill, I'm, I'm a little tired, so I try to make sure that I can get up there and knock them down. Uh, here, I'm running a lot of pick and roll things. I do uh, four different things. I do uh, going opposite of the pick. Uh, I go around the pick, beating the, beating the hedge. Um, I split the pick, you know, uh, just different things that you'll see in the game that I seen last year. I do things like uh, having the, the person guard me going to the screen and just make, make at least five shots in each, you know, each uh, setting. Just because uh, I know I've seen a lot, of, a lot of different things this year as far as with the pick and roll and with UCLA, we run a lot of pick and roll. And I know at the next level, uh, so, you know, point guards need to be able to run the pick and roll game either to get their teammates involved or to you know, make shots for themselves. So I make sure that that's a big thing that I, that I do uh, in my workouts is make sure I get those, those repetitions up. Uh, I heard that I guess if you continue to work on the, you know, the pick and roll, that's, how, that's the best way to get better at it. So I mean, every night I just try to make sure I get, get that in you know, before my night is over. Last, last season I seen a lot of, uh, well, through my whole like basketball career as far as like in high school also, 
a lot of people try to take charges and uh, you know as you get to the higher levels <laughs> guys are bigger stronger you know can jump higher so I try to work on my floaters every every time I get in the gym also because uh, you know I'm, I may not be the the biggest guard but you know I'm not the smallest also so uh, I try to use my power and my quickness to work on getting to the basket and uh, making sure that I can knock down floaters over the bigs uh, I have times when uh, I have to make shots for my for my team you know when they need big shots and I know this uh, my senior season will be a, I'll be a big part of you know making big shots because I'll be the leader. So uh, I just try to make sure I make shots while I'm tired and while I'm on the move because I know uh, just want to put myself in different situations, you know, game type situations. Uh, I know I'm not the biggest guard, but I know UCLA has uh, seen me uh, have some some okay games from my junior college, and uh, I know Duncan is you know being athletic is something that you know you have to be nowadays. You know the game the game gets uh, gets to the point where you know athleticism can take over, and uh, I don't want to be looked at as just an average guard. You know I want to be th that guard that can go up there and uh, take the contact and finish over big. So. If it, if it calls for me dunking it, then I, I want to go up and dunk on him. If I have to lay it up, then I go lay it up. So uh, right here is when I just work on my uh, my legs. You know, I want to. This is around the end of my workout sometimes, uh, and so I want to be able to still jump. You know, while while I'm tired. You know, in games, you never know when you'll get that when you'll get that lane open to go dunk the ball. So I want to make sure I do this while I'm tired and really get up there and dunk it as hard as possible. Like uh, give it some game type you know situations where I have to make crossovers or I just have to sweep and get to the basket. And um, you know, just nowadays, average guards, I, don't, I feel like may not cut it. So to me, uh, I like to stand out and be athletic.